What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Hope everyone's doing well. We are so close to having this Jeep on the ground and ready for its test drive. I know I've said that in the last couple videos, but uh, we're officially ready to put it down. It's just sitting on the lift right now. All we really have left to do right now is uh, tighten everything up on the suspension, get all the right bolts in the right places, put the wheels and tires on, drop it down, and take it for a test drive. So we're really close. Um, and then once the test drive goes smoothly, then we'll take everything back apart, paint the axles, and then put it back together again, finally. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do now. And hope you guys enjoy the video. It's gonna be a fun one. Here we go. Okay guys, slight change of plans. I need to go get my hair cut because I have a college alumni event this weekend and I feel like I look homeless and like shaggy. So I need to get my beard trimmed up, my hair cut, and then we'll put the wheels and tires on the Jeep because that's all we have left to do and then we can take it for a test drive and see how well it does. Then we get to take everything apart again. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> all right guys, we're back. Got my hair cut. Beards trimmed up, everything is good to go for the weekend, and we're gonna get ready to work on the Jeep again, so here we go. Guys, this is the maiden voyage. Hopefully you guys can hear me of the window down, but the maiden voyage of Crute. I guess we can call this Crute 2.0. So first Crute started with uh, JK axles, front and rear. And now this has Dana 60s front and rear and 40s. So uh, yeah, this is our test drive. What we were just talking about was it's a little bit bouncy in the rear which we first experienced because we didn't have any weight back there. It's so light, that bed doesn't weigh a lot. So it's just bouncing up and down. There's nothing for, there's nothing for the shocks and springs to really move compression back there. So yeah, it's just and, light. And, you know, I don't know if the 40s, are, which are like balloons compared to your 37s are any different. Brakes. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I think we got to play with your tire pressure. Yeah, right? so that's one thing we got to figure out. This tire is a whole new tire to us. It's we were used to the previous previous tires we were running, um, so we just have to. It's not a big deal, but figuring out the exact psi to run on the street. And I know the weight of the vehicle has a lot to do with that, and then uh, everything else. So. But so far so good. The one thing we have to sure up is steering. We have the PSC Ram in and hooked up, 
just not the full hydro system. So the power steering pump isn't on, anything like that. It's just the ram, which is going to create some resistance. Yeah. But once we get that running, steering should be 100%. Definitely needs an alignment. But um, I think it's it's doing really well, except for the bounciness. Yeah. yeah really Plus your, uh, your drag link and track bar. Track bar's in, but the drag link and tie rod is not dialed in yet, so steering's off a little bit, but otherwise, it's driving pretty good. Yep. Good God. <laughs> it's definitely bouncy. Alrighty, guys, we are out here in the streets of Maryland. Some back roads. Kind of Mexico, but kind of not. This is legal, so we're not doing anything illegal. But uh, we're doing the test drive. Everything's going well. Uh, we definitely have to figure out alignment, make sure everything's tight and fixed up here. Um, so tire pressure, alignment are two things we definitely need to figure out. And then also, what was it? Um, steering stabilizer, the PSC system. Yeah, Get that fully hooked yeah. up. But I mean, it looks amazing. I'm so happy with it. Definitely some more work to do, but I mean, here it is. Got some cows over there just doing their thing, but. It's so wide. They honestly don't stick out as much as the pre, well, yeah, they do. The whole tire is almost out. I think the back of it is my favorite. It looks so good from behind. 